कैंडिड आई सी एस सी प्रैक्टिस स्किल्स इन मैप्स एंड टोपो शीट्स रिलीव ऑन अ टोपो शीट द स्टडी ऑफ रिलीव इंक्लूड्स अ डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ माउंटेन्स प्लाटूज प्लेन्स स्लोप्स ऑफ लैंड and the highest as well as the lowest points all these features can be identified with the help of contours which are drawn in brown color on the topo sheet the spacing of contours expresses the steepness of the slope if contours are crowded together it means that within a short distance there is a great change in height and the slope is steep widely spaced contours on the other hand mean a gradual change in height and gentle slopes to identify various relief features one should carefully check the presence or absence of contours and their layout if the contours are larger in number and are closer together it shows that the area is highland or a mountain area the value of the contours exceeds 1000 meters understanding of contours let's observe topo sheet g43s oblique 10 look at this sheet carefully in this sheet in the southeast quadrant contours are closely spaced and at places these are merging with each other which shows that it is a hilly area or it represents the hilly topography contours of 280 meters at grid 1403 360 meters at grid 1303 and 400 meters at grid 1506 are shown on the sheet along with closely spaced contours the spot height of 639 at grid 1606 spot height 590 842 977 are also marked which represents mountain peaks with steep slopes as we are moving towards the north part of this quadrant the spot height of 1212 1425 1426 and 1313 are shown which represent high peaks all these mountains are covered with fairly dense jungle with bamboos we can conclude as contours are closely spaced that it is a hilly area in grid 1506 to 1706 contours are closely spaced and in the center contours are circular in shape which represents the ridges and the height of ridge is marked with spot height of 639 meters in the grid 
and 1608, you can see the contour of value 900, which indicates the height of the region is 900 meters. Let's have a look on another sheet. See this sheet carefully. In this part of the sheet, contours are closely spaced and taking circular shape in the center, which is marked with the spot height. For example, if you look at grid 9187 to 9287, contours are circular in shape. And in the center, the height is marked with spot height 591 meters, which represents the ridge with the height of 591 meters. In the same way, grid 9284 to 9484, three closed contours are visible, which represent three different ridges. In grid 9991 to 0091, contours are closely spaced and merging with each other in the north, while little apart in the south, which shows hill slope is steep in the north and gentle in the south. Here also the value of the contours is marked 500 and 800, which indicates steep slope. A more clear example is in grid 9284 to 9384. Contours are equally spaced and circular in center and spot height is marked in the center as 522, which indicates a ridge with a height of 522 meters. These slopes are covered with fairly dense jungles, like in grid 9194 and 9485. Contours show steep slopes, V-shaped valleys, waterfalls, water divides, etc. The presence of U-shaped valleys, hanging valleys, creeks, etc. suggests that the area has been glaciated. If the value of the contours varies from 200 to 1000 meters and they follow an irregular path, then it is a plateau area. On the other hand, if there is no contour or if the contours are very few and are spaced wide apart, then the area is lowland or a plain. In a plain area, the river valleys are broad and shallow, and the river course is meandering and braided. Oxbow lakes may also be seen in such areas. The height and the general slope of a plain area is known from the spot height and benchmarks. To make the relief more clear, the use of contours is supplemented by hachures and hill shading. Spot heights, benchmarks and trigonometrical stations are used to show the heights of places, buildings, bridges and mountain peaks. 
relative height. In the areas of steep slope, the difference between maximum and minimum is represented by the letter R, which means relative height or depth. Thus, if one finds 3 R written on a topo sheet, this means that the concerned place is higher by 3 meters than its neighboring lowest place.